Alright guys, so I am currently in Texas while I am filming this because I am in the Robotics World Championship. The Vex Robotics World Championship. So, yeah. Um, and I was just begging my dad to bring me to this one uh, military surplus store just outside of Dallas. So we got a an Uber to the surplus store. It was called Porter's Army and Navy. Um and amazing place. They've got like helmets and everything, lots of pins, lots of patches, a lot of stuff. And uh so while uh, the the guys that were running the place, they were nice and amazing. Like, yeah, it's hard to explain, but so, uh, and I think the man who owned the place, I think that was him. I uh, he was super nice to me, and like he gave me stuff for free for no reason, like. It's strange, but nice in a way. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. So and then we uh, got a few more stuff. So. Um. Yeah. All right. I will do. Uh. I'll just show you what I. I uh, got from there, so, yeah, alright, I got a Staff Sergeant patch, two of them actually, so, this one is a little bent, look, but it's all good, I can fix that, but, yeah, not in the best condition, but still really cool, and then I got four different uh, private first class patches so yeah uh, three regular privates patches so yeah that's really really cool um a, my first uh, US World War II belt buckle so, yeah, this is really cool. Yeah. I got... I got some... Uh, I got a Czech M60 canteen. So, yeah, that's cool. Resuming on the Czech M60 canteen um this was yeah it looks sort of like a german world or two canteen so that's what i'm going to be using it for so yeah i got some pin stoppers from world or two like just regular backs to pins so yeah uh a paratrooper pin with a little star on top of it. That is amazing. It comes with the pin backs. And then, if you saw in my collection tour video a while back, um, my great grandfather's World War II uniform, he was in the 10th Armored Division. Well, guess what? I got a 10th Armored Division pin so that is pretty cool yeah so and then the second to last and probably the most amazing part I got a military achievement medal usually these things cost like 
twenty to one hundred fifty dollars, but I got this thing for ten dollars. Like I said, the the guy running the place, he's like really really nice. So yeah, and then the last thing that I got, I got this M1 helmet. It is made out of plastic, but uh. It's got a liner in there. This thing, it's supposed to go up here on the front, but it's too big and I can't adjust it. There is a little thing to adjust right here, but it's too tight, so that doesn't work, sadly. Um, yeah. That's honestly really cool. I'm going to be using this leather thing as a chin strap for now, so yeah. And that is basically all I have to say. Again, this is Porter's Army and Navy, and it's an amazing place. Go check it out. It's in uh, Texas somewhere. I, I, I forget. Irving, Texas? Yeah, Irving, Texas. And, yeah. Also, one more thing. I was gonna tell you about, hold on, let me, I'm gonna pause the video and think on it for now, okay. Okay, I just remembered what I was gonna say. So, when I was there, I, he, the man running the place, he gave me this, he uh, handed me this box of pins, patches, and photos, and stuff like that. So, he didn't, I, I didn't keep it, he didn't, like, he told me if I wanted something from there, I could have it, but I, it was all his and stuff, so it was his special box, but he wanted me to have some of it to add to my collection because I told him that I collected military stuff, so. All right, well, I was looking through the pictures and stuff, and I found a pair of dog tags when I was looking through the pins and stuff like that, yeah. So I found a pair of dog tags. It was Dan and Denton. Dan and Denton. So, yeah. And uh, he was a lieutenant, it, and he fought in World War II, so, in Germany, so. Uh, and after the war, many pictures were taken of him, and I found, like, five more pictures of him, like, so, yeah, and the man running the place, he didn't even know that he had all that stuff, so that was, uh, I, like, put together all of the, um, all of the stuff, all of the photos, the dog tags, and even, I even found a name tag. It had the last name Denton on it, so, yeah, he said he would probably, like, make a frame or something for that, and then put up, put it up on his wall, or something, and then, my last thing that I got, alright, I just remembered that I had this, a red dog tag that says, Levi, welcome to Porter's Army Navy Soar since 1946. Um, it's a red dog tag, but the funny thing is, uh, this was stamped using a real World War II dog tag stamping machine, so that was cool. And then also, a P-51 can opener. It's bigger than the P-38, so that is really cool. Again, Porter's Army and Navy, go check it out. It's really amazing, and... See you in the next video.